All right, finally the cylinder head is off of this Hummer and uh, this is our number four cylinder right here. If you guys remember, we were concerned about intake valves, which are these guys on the number four. We see absolutely nothing visually that would suggest a valve problem in here. And we actually did air check, it, air check it one more time before we pulled the head off and we still had leakage on the number four. So what we're going to do now is pull the valves out, see what we can see. Nothing though visually from the top. I looked at the sides, flipped it over, looked at the back of the intake valves. I couldn't see anything there either. Next step, we'll pull the valves out. All right, so we got the intake valves out and uh, there is a very, very clear issue with the seats. If you look in this area, you can see an angle, this part here, and then you see an upper angle here. I want you guys to look at the gap of this lower portion as I move around the seat with the camera and you'll see I don't think the camera is going to pick that up with this well two things you'll notice is that it's not shiny in here and if you look close at it that bottom angle that I'm talking about is completely missing over in here so this is before we tried to clean it up and I think I might be able to show this just a little bit better when we do there's the other one and it's the same thing if we come around you see the dark part again and it's basically just looks like it's worn away right there so let, let me uh, clean the crap off of this and see if we get a little bit better shot all right, another shot here with this wiped off. I really just used a paper towel and wiped it off, and I think you'll, you'll be able to see this gap a little bit that I'm talking about. And we're looking right, right in this area in here. I don't know if the light is hindering that or not. You can definitely see it with, with the naked eye. See this side of the, the seat over here. The thickness of this area follow that watch it over in here it's pretty much gone same thing on this on this one Real tough to see through this two and a half inch camera screen if this is picking up. Quick shot of the valves. If you look as I spin this, watch the shiny part on the seat. And you'll see an area where it's where it's dark. I don't see it through this lens. What is that tough to see? It's right in there. A better angle. I'll show you the other one. Right in there. A long time coming, I know. Uh, this is the conclusion of my Hummer series. For those of you that haven't seen it, I will post a link in the description of this video for the playlist for the Hummer series. Uh, that's this vehicle with the bad valve seats. And also what YouTube has started doing is allowing me to put what they call cards, which really all that is is in the top right of the screen, you'll see a little exclamation point that uh, when you click on it, it has a link that will guide you to you know whatever I, I decide. And in this case, I'll put the rest of the playlist for that Hummer in there. So 
for you guys that have not seen this, you owe it to yourself to watch it. It's a great video on diagnosing a misfire uh, that ultimately ended up being a valve seat problem. And we did all kinds of different methods to identify it using uh, secondary waveforms to uh, relative compression to intake vacuum waveforms to in cylinder pressure transducer waveforms and I learned a lot in this series I know you guys did too and you know I apologize for how long it has taken me to post this but here it is thanks again for watching catch you guys next time